Hey Canvas, welcome to our Connect podcast where we have the chance to unpack and go through our study guides for each and every term in the life of our Connect groups. If you're joining this and you're not currently part of a Connect group, why not email us at hello at canvaschurch.com.au and allow us the opportunity to see if we can't connect you with a Connect group. How many Connects in that, Jase? Let's keep rolling. Uh, today, we have a beautiful discussion with Jade Kelly, who is one of our amazing key youth leaders about what it means to live the journey and live the journey well. I'd love to check it out. Mm. Now, I, I'll just submit to you, Jade, this is really important to me. This idea that uh, following Jesus is, is a journey, uh, that we are saved the moment we accept Jesus as our Lord and Saviour, mm. but we are being saved. Old school, they used to call it sanctification. Where we, we start That's to cool. become, bring it back. Yeah, we start to become <laughs> like Jesus. Yeah. That's often a lifelong process. And then mm. according to the scriptures, we will be saved uh, at, the, at the end times and resurrection of the dead and eternal states, which goes into some really yeah. cool things. Yep. But we're here now in that in-between spot. Mm. And I believe that a decision to follow Jesus is actually a daily decision. Yeah. So can I just ask you, what has it meant for you personally to choose to follow Jesus for yourself. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, but it's just so good. Like mm. I can't, I can't, I'm, I'm not a woman of fancy words, but that God has revealed himself and continued to reveal himself and continued to pull me up to to run alongside me, to, to stop and wait and rest. Yeah. And, and it is such a... It's like a blessing. Like you created everything. You 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 molded me. Like yeah. you you breathed your breath in this had it in intimate yeah, into wow. my lungs so that I could walk and I could breathe and I could talk. Mm. It, it's it's incredible. And you know, some days like I don't want to do this or I don't wanna I don't want to go to youth today or mm. I don't wanna do this today, but you find yourself going to those things and, and it's the journey that God's there with you and he just carries you along. Mm. You just, wow, this, oh, I leave and you feel like you're on fire. Oh, I can't wait to yeah, yeah, yeah. talk about this. I can't wait to do um, this with this person or, or say this to that person. Or it, it's God reveals himself in in insane ways. And in doing the, the journey with God is, 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 is an honour. Yeah. It's an honour. Yeah, 100%. Me? You could have created anyone else, put me anywhere else, yeah. put me with whoever else, and, and you made me. Mm. Wow, for That's a time cool. as this. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, time and season. Yeah. And you touched on an important thought there. Sometimes we don't always feel like things, mm. but yet I, I think faith is a choice. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, Jesus says, um, hey, deny yourself. Pick up your cross and yep. follow me daily. Yep. And the cross is an instrument of uh, execution. Mm. It's like, it, like, That's a cool thought, like, yeah. I die daily. Yeah. But, it, but it's a choice. It's not like something that Jesus does by his spirit actually on our behalf. He, mm. he sanctifies us yeah. on our behalf, makes us righteous mm. in the eyes of the Father on, on our behalf. These are things that we can't do. Yeah. But yet in faith there's things that he doesn't do for us. He empowers us. Yeah. But it's not like he says, well, you know what, I'm going to make life easy for you. No, he says, hey, Ooh. I'm going to be with you through it all, mm. but still it's your choice. What difference does it make for you that your faith is actually a choice? Oh, sometimes I've found myself just wanting to, oh, why is it my choice? Why can't you just um, drive this car for me and I sit in the passenger seat and I look at all the pretty things you're taking me and doing? Mm. Um, but it's a choice, and again, it's it's such an honor that He's giving me the free will to to choose. Yeah. You, okay, God, you you're setting these things up for me. Okay, you've put a burning on my heart for for the youth ministry, but it's my choice. Yeah, it, sure. It is ultimately my choice yep. to go to um, pour out on these young people. It is my choice to come on a Sunday. It yes. is my choice to see people during the week. Yes. It, it, it is, and either way, He's still there. Yeah. If if he if I said if God put this burning desire in my heart, a youth ministry, let's go, let's go, and I thought God, I don't want to do it, mm. and I won't. 
Mm. Doesn't mean he's going to leave me. No. No, you're right. But it's my choice to o- obey his call. Yep. Yeah, and then the difference is like that's a key word, mm. o- obey. Mm. Not a popular word nowadays. No. But when we actually choose to obey God, it's like those are the moments where our faith becomes real mm. because we're laying down something yep. or we're sacrificing something or we're prioritising something mm. and it's where our faith moves from lip service yep. to a lived reality and that's where I think I, I would submit that's where real genuine change mm. starts to work its way out. Yep. And, and like a good point, like why God isn't my choice? Why? Yeah. why well, it's, if it's not, it doesn't make a difference. Like no. um, I, I think of, you know, Flinny, you know, my, my youngest kid, uh, six years old, going on 16. Oh, he's going to be – now, you're called the battle axe of the back line in AFL. He's going to be the battle axe of something. Like he's going to be a battering ram. Far out. You know? Wow. But I, I think if I still had to feed him, <laughs> like that little aeroplane, you're like, oh, open your mouth – how lacking in development would he be? Mm. But now he, he, get, he, he gets up at 3 a.m. now himself, yeah, opens up the fridge, he'll make butter and bread, sit down, turn on the TV and then wakes us up and then I come out, wow. take the butter and bread off him, turn off the TV. He goes, but you know what the cool thing is? He can do stuff. <laughs> You're definitely doing something there. I, and, and I think of our faith is the same. Mm. Like when you get to make the choice for yourself, yeah, I'm choosing this above my feelings. Yep. Mm. I'm choosing this above whatever's going on. Yep. The the reality of your faith grows. And so, what would you say to anybody right now that's sort of struggling and feeling, you know, maybe, maybe I've I've started the journey and now I've stopped, or mm. or I've been on the journey but I've stumbled. Mm. I know I've stumbled. What would you say to somebody? Hold yourself accountable. Um, if if you've been on this journey and you've just stopped, is there a reason? Okay. Is, has something happened? Has someone said something? Is it is it or is it you? You just feel wrong. Are you going to stop yeah. and wait? Something that I learned way too late in life, and I've got time because I'm not old yet. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll get there one day. So. <laughs> um, yeah, is that? People are around you. You're yeah. not just in this church. You're not just in a community like this just to do it by yourself. Sure. Just to have that realisation, hang on a minute, Yeah. I can text this person, I can call up this person, yeah. I, I'm struggling at the moment. Yeah. And not even in, a, in an emotion way, and like I'm stuck, I feel stuck. How can I grow f- more? How can I, can sure. I seek God? I, I, I feel like I can't seek God in this. How do I do this? I, I don't think I can hear God. Like how can I hear him? Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. It is just, we, we're in a community, we're a family. And sure. some people look at that and think it's cheesy, but it's really not. It's such a beautiful thing. I, I love it. It's not cheesy. It's Come not. That's fair. I swear it's not cheesy. It, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's just, it's just so cool. We, we are given this church. We're yeah. given this community. God gives us this thing and people say, oh, nowhere it says to go to church in the Bible, but God has called us to a community. Sure. In, in Adam and Eve, fill the earth. Yeah, yeah. Fill the earth. Let, let us be a community together. Yeah. That's what we're meant to do. Yeah, it takes some ground. So, so reach out. Re- reach out um, and challenge yourself. For me, I know sometimes I'm just being lazy here. Oh, there I'm, you go. I'm just, I'm just being lazy here. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just not – Dedicating my time. I love video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love video games so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know that sometimes that takes the attention away from God. Sure. Okay. So I can play video games. Yes, you Great. Can. I love, I love, I will. I would continue to play video games, but I'm going to dedicate either more time or I'm going to ta- dedicate the first half of my day. Great. Or the last half of my day. Great. Or really make sure that even if I don't have that long, I, yep. my God time is really intentional. Not, okay, I'll quickly read through this and I'll go do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like that. Yeah. Or, or if I'm feeling really bad yeah. that I'll listen to it as I'm playing the video game yeah, along, well, with, along with, there's a hack. hey, 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 it's along with doing it's, that It's all good. It's multitasking. Yeah, it's <laughs> multitasking. multitasking. Yes, it's multitasking. I love it. Um, throughout it. 
so yeah, that's no, that's cool. <laughs> I, I like hey, I I like living your faith out in everyday life, mm. and maybe that's another thought with living the journey. Mm. Um, when I think of living the journey, I think that God is okay with us being the way that we're wired. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I like how you say take ownership. I can't blame anybody for my journey. No. Um, yet things happen. Yeah. Things happen out of our control, but we still get to choose how we respond. Yeah. Mm. And and I think of the things that sometimes we think either disqualify us from doing the journey or things that we allow to get in between us living the journey of following Christ. Everything is addressable. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. There, there is a way through. And often the way through is I just I keep showing up. Yeah. I keep being a part of it. Yep, that's it. And, and I don't allow myself to dwell on things that I would say are going to shipwreck me. Yeah. 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 To our intrepid producer, for you to live the journey just in your day-to-day, what difference has it made being able to do that in community with others? Yeah, I think... Um it's an important point, I think, what you touched on, like, um, you know, being able to go to others. But I also think on the flip side of that, like like um, with the community that you're in, whether it's a connect group or your friendship circle or whatever, when people, when people come to you, like that's a, that's a sacred thing. Mm. Yeah, it um, is a sacred thing, yeah. You know, so, yeah, like. Like don't don't abuse that, and you know if someone comes to you with a struggle, like stand with them in prayer. You know, it's come on, dude. Yeah, I think I think that's important. You know, it's not our place to judge. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. It's not our place to. I guess it's sometimes our place to bring correction or or yeah, 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 correction. But what you're talking about is a situation somebody's taken ownership for themselves. Mm. They've come to you and they've said, "Hey, Jason, I'm struggling." You're right. That's sacred, and and. I, I like what you mean by, by judging there. It's like this idea of, well, if every sin has been paid for in Christ mm. as long as you come to Christ. And if you're willing to live out that faith, you're, you're clean. And so who are we to say you're not? Mm. But, it's, it, but I will say this, faith is something that is lived. It is expressed in who we are. And it's, it's, it's not lip service. It's, it's reflected. And that's, um, I like that idea of living the journey. Yeah, co- correction is a part of it sometimes. Mm. It, it, it really is. It's hard, but it's saying uh, correction not based on personal opinion but based on the reality of the Scriptures. Yeah. So, yeah. And I always come back to this. Is, is God real, yes or no? Mm. I, I say yes. I, I've experienced him, I've encountered him. I, I know God is real. Second question for me is are his Scriptures worth following? Because those are the two questions. Is God real, yes or no? Okay, if yes, then are his scriptures worth following? And if they are, if I have to spend the rest of my life wrestling with it, Mm. then that's a good thing to wrestle with. Yeah. 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 Mm. Very cool. I love it. It's it's cool to live the journey. It's cool to be on this together. Maybe I'd ask, can I pose something for both of you now just to give input on? Yeah. I would say this, in living the journey, I don't believe that any human being should be the Holy Spirit to another. No. So even talking about living the journey in community, I think it's powerful to come to people for support and encouragement, but that only works if that support and encouragement helps them connect directly with God. Mm. Um, Maybe I'll start with you, Jason, then, Jade, you can finish up. What, What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think, I mean, we're we're not God. Like we can't, yeah. you know. It, again, like free will. Um, yeah, it goes for us, but also, you know, like we can't we can't dictate other people's actions. We can't tell them what to do, anything like that. So yeah, I, and that's again where it comes back to. You know, I think when we're standing with people, it has to come back to what's in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yep. that's good. Could Jace Jane? Yeah, I've had relationships where whether they realise it or not, that they are seeking me for that God, for that Holy Spirit, for mm. that I'm not Jesus, I'm not God. I, I can't give you 
what you know you're lacking, whether you mm. admit it or not. Um, you can guide them. You can you can show them. How, have you tried this? Have you tried this? Let's pray. But mm. I, I, I'm not. You're not going to find anything good in me that you want. You you want to go to God. It's yeah. Yeah. It's like that. It frustrates me with people like that because it's almost immature. Mm-hmm. It, is, it is. You're dealing with young people, different. But when you're dealing with people your age or older, yeah. what, what what are you doing now? Yeah, sure. Why? Yeah. Why is there something not switching on? Have you had an encounter? Have you, have you even, have you been with your scriptures? Have you been worshiping? Have you been praying? Is it, yeah. I just, I don't know. But yeah, that, that frustrates me. Yeah, it, it is a challenge. Yeah. It is a challenge. And I, I think... You know, we've got this saying, like, cast the net wide, work with the willing. Yeah. And it's this sort of everybody's welcome. Yeah. Everybody can be a part of it. Mm. But in that working with the willing means that I'm, I'm willing to allow God to change me. I'm willing to be uh, accountable to the Scriptures. Mm. I, I'm willing to, by mutual love, be able to support each other and build each other up. And, and I'm not here to try to get out of you something that ultimately only the Holy Spirit can give me. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that's beautiful. Mm. And I think when that is present in our community of faith, I think that's where you see real lasting change in the journey because um, ultimately the, the best that we can do with each other is say, um, hey, if, if we follow Jesus together, iron sharpens iron. Yeah. Let's build each other up. Yeah. Very cool. I love it. Live mm. the journey. It was fun. Why not? Huh? May as well. You got it. Very cool. Hey, for our Connect Groups, I'd love to encourage you now to take what you've listened to and maybe even spark God conversations. You know, one of the things I love is that as we do the journey together in faith and we grow in faith, we definitely need to engage with good, healthy, biblical teaching, but we do need to have God conversations along the way. So I'd love to encourage you if you're in a Connect Group setting right now and you just listen to this podcast, start engaging in God conversations. Use the study guide, live the journey. You're up to live the journey, walk it out, session three. Unpack this together. Dig into the scriptures and see what God is saying to you. And again, if you're finding this podcast on uh, 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 Facebook or or YouTube, why not send us an email at hello at canvaschurch.com.au to see how you might be able to get connected with people who are on the journey together. God bless you. Dig deep.